Are you a utility warehouse customer and you would like to log into the webmail or the email service you've created through the Clubhouse portal? You will need to use any of your browsers. It could be Google Chrome, Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, Microsoft Edge or Safari if you're using Apple products. In this example, I'm going to be using Mozilla Firefox. In any of the search area, you'll need to type in webmail uwclub.net and click on enter this will launch the login page and as you can see it says webmail you need to put in your email address and the password then click on login and then it will launch the webmail homepage uh, on the far left pane here you will see there are a few icons there we're going to be touching on each of these icons in the subsequent videos as you can see, when you over your course on each of those icons, it will tell you what those icons represent. The first one is mail, which has launched your inbox. On the far right here, you can see all the emails you've received. Uh, the second icon is calendar. When you click on that, it will show you the calendar for you to organize uh, and plan yourself. Uh, the third one is the task box for you to organize whatever you want to do through the day or through the week. And the fourth one is contact for you to organize your contact list, add new contact or remove contact. And the fifth one will be the preferences. Uh, it's more like what you can call properties of your email. If you want to change your password, we're going to touch on each of these icons later on in the subsequent videos. But at first, we need to deal with the uh, we're going to be dealing with the mail aspect of it. As you can see, I only have one email here. If you want to compose an email, you just need to click on this um, icon with a pen. Here it says compose a new message. When you click on that, it will open the page where you can type in uh, the e recipient's email address. Somebody want you want to copy or someone you don't want other people to see that you're sending an email to the person or sending a copy of that email to. And then at the bottom here you is the text area where you can type in the message that you want to send to those people the recipient on the right hand side you'll see there's a plus sign here uh, these you can use to uh, get into your contact list to select or to search for contact that you want to send an email to on the top right here you can close this page once you have selected the person you want to send the email to it could be multiple people in this case I only have one person you click on add here if you have hundreds or two you know hundreds of contact here you can use to go to the next page and the top here is for you to search for all the from all the contacts you have in your contact list on the far right here is to close this page here you can save as draft if you want to continue typing it later on and um, the good thing about this new system is that it as you're typing it automatically save it as draft for you as you can see I already have to this being the second one uh, if you don't want it to save as draft you can just discard it I hope you enjoyed this video in the subsequent video as I mentioned we're gonna be discussing about some other functionality on this web system have a good day bye